Hey guys, Nomadic Mike here and welcome to my home. A 2020 Ford Escape Titanium Hybrid All-Wheel Drive. That's right, baby. Hey, Nomadic Mike here, guys. Thanks for joining me for this uh, car, home, SUV review. Uh, this is my very first setup with it. Uh, I've kind of bought initial stuff to kind of get it set up to live in it full time. It's been going about a month now. Uh, I, I actually did it previously off and on trying it out and liked it. My end goal is to do van life and have much more room. So I thought instead of saving and uh, working two or three jobs for years and years for a van, that I'm not really sure if I even want to live that way. I thought I'd better try it on my car, uh, save the money, and uh, if I change my mind, I can use the money for something else like backpacking. But uh, I wanted to show you how I have it set up and my intent. This will change over time, but this is my initial setup. It's very basic. Um, I gotta say one thing. When you watch a lot of uh, SUV, car, and van lifers, uh, they're on the road uh, full time. They have a lot more things. I'm eventually gonna get a roof rack. A box for the top and I can carry like my camp stove and table and a lot of extra stuff um, right now the reality is I, uh, I work two jobs and I live locally so I'm living in my car locally in the towns where I live near and um, and uh, so I don't need as much stuff to live in the car day to day I do have a storage nearby so when I go car camping and do things like that um, I can go grab the like I just did this weekend I can go grab uh, you know, a barbecue or a grill or all the camping kind of stuff, extra chairs, that kind of stuff. So I kind of have it made. But eventually, you know, when I grow my channels and I'm, I'm actually working on other income, I can uh, just be on the road and travel and bring all that to you and uh, do it from the road. That's when I'll need a lot more stuff. So uh, the reality is this is what I'm doing right now and I can't wait to show it to you. All right, guys, the first thing you'll notice, this is my bed at night. I am uh, six foot three, so 75 inches. So I do have to uh, move the seat back up quite a bit. Um, so I have enough room, but I just barely fit just right. So that's good. Uh, this is a X-Ped Mega Mat. It's four inches thick. I think it's uh, 72 inches or 75 inches, I forget, but uh, it's just the right length for me. I really want to go to a memory foam mattress because I don't want to have, this will eventually probably leak or get a hole or something. And I like something that I don't have to worry about that. I can roll up. Um, and uh, I've tried three different foam mattresses and none of them uh, help support my way. I'm a bigger guy. So I've got to find out a solution. If you guys know of one, let me know. But I've tried even four and five inch thick memory foam and when I, I'm a side sleeper and when I lay down, my hips are hitting. So if you guys know of one, let me know. But this has worked well. And then what I do is I roll it up and um, I roll it up and under here, there's a bag that it fits in. I roll it up so it gives me more space during the day. And then I just repump it. It comes with a, um, like a hand pump kind of thing. It's hard to explain, but down by the foot of it, you plug it in, you hand pump it like this. So that's pretty cool. Um, but like I said, it's, it's portable and small and I can roll it up when I don't need it. There's my sleeping bag. I also have um, a brand that I'm trying out right now. The, the company sent me one called Get Out Gear. Um, you can get it on Amazon. And a lot of these links, so if you guys are interested in some of the things I have, a lot of the stuff I got on Amazon, uh, please look down below and you can get it. Um, I'm an Amazon affiliate, so I get a little piece of it. It will actually help me earn some money. So, you know, I'm trying this. So this is an extra backup on top of my sleeping bag if it gets really cold. So far in Southern California, it hasn't been colder than my sleeping bag's uh, done for me. Yeah, that's the sleeping course. I have two pillows. Uh, when I sleep, I take one off, but I have two memory foam pillows that I can sit up and read and, and watch uh, Netflix. All right, guys. Uh, and one of the things I made by hand is with Reflectix is the window covers. I almost bought the set. They make them um, by WeatherTech. You can buy your car in year and they make them exactly fit right. But I just cut this out and uh, I labeled which side goes on the left side or the right side, that kind of thing. Um, but what I did was you, a lot of people have the silver on the outside and it, it makes it clear if you're uh, stealth camping in a neighborhood that you're in your car. So what I did was I have tinted windows. You can see they're kind of tinted already. So at nighttime, I just put black duct tape. So I bought some of this Gorilla Black duct tape and just put it on the outside. It took a little while, but I did it on the outside so that when I put that at night, I put the facing out, you can't tell that, that there's even anything in the windows. So I have a left and a right, and I didn't do the front windows, but and then I have very strange little windows here on both sides. So I made little ones like that, I have two of those. And this is for the back window. And I had, it took a while, but I cut it out 
And then I just tell myself which way to face up. And that pops into the back window pretty well. I also have in the front of the car, I have a, um, a window shade for that. So the only thing, and I also have actually, I forgot about is I have a, a piece of black cloth uh, that I don't know how to attach it. I don't really have anything up there that's a good spot to attach, but I kind of hang it over, drape it over the top of the two chairs. It makes kind of a black at nighttime. A wall gives me a little privacy. So yeah, that's uh, that's definitely um, really great at night. Uh, even when it's cold, it keeps the cold out. So that's great too. So you might have noticed, I always have like a gallon of water right here just to have, uh, I'm an extremely avid hiker. I'm more of a backpacker than a hiker, but I always have water and I have another water jug that I just got, I'll show you. Um, I just purchased, once again, some of these links will be down below, an air compressor for my tires, also for anything inflatable. Um, yeah, it's got a tire pressure gauge, pretty neat. Uh, just need that, I go on a lot of like back, uh, like roads where I might go to a trailhead. So just in case I were to get a low tire or something and I don't, and I can put it on, or if my, my, even my spare is low, I can put some air in it. So that's smart. Um, let's show you uh, what these three smaller, um, plastic containers uh, have inside of them actually another uh, key feature I found out the other night was because I have a very large sunroof and it's directly under my head where I sleep so I actually at night if I choose to I've had it rain at night which is cool but like you see the stars through that it's pretty neat kind of a cool feature but um, yes yeah, so let's see if I can show you this one-handed but basically this top one is it's just all my hats I wear a ton of hats um, I like the, the mesh back kind uh, I'm not going to click these back together because I only have one hand. I uh, got some of this uh, shelf lining that's kind of rubberized to help the, this top one not slide off of it. So, so far it's worked, but one thing I'm finding out is around corners, these are toppling over. So I'm going to learn, I'm going to figure out a way to put some string around this and tie it off. There's a few places I can tie it off to keep all this, this top one is, is falling over once before too. But okay, so let's go to the second one. This is one that's one of the most important ones and that is my coffee kit coffee making kit and um let's see if we can get this sorry it's one-handed here but i got my coffee in there i have a jet boil to boil the water uh i do drip coffee so i have this cone thing here to just drip so yeah super important in the mornings i did a, a video that you'll see on this channel for this too uh that i'll be uh posting that says how i make coffee in the mornings but i found out how much i was spending every single month on coffee and I decided to make it myself and it only takes about five minutes. So in this one, it's a little messy, sorry guys. But uh, this has all like, a bunch of maps, odds and ends stuff, office stuff. I have a little fan here for when it's hot. Uh, it's rechargeable, just all kinds of odds and ends, extra reading glasses, things like that. Uh, also here is a pee bottle. I got this set, you guys, they may have really good ones at the dollar store. But uh, I generally wedge it over there between, let me, uh, let me close the door real quick. I put it there so you can see. That's usually where I put it at, at night. That's good to have a pee bottle. This is a sheet that I put on the air mattress. Um, and then um, we're doing a tour of the inside. I'm going to uh, reset the car and show you the things I have for the outside. And this is part of a tarp or awning that I do, but that goes there. It's golf balls from my past life as a golf pro. And then, uh, all right, let's show you the side door. Actually, I got ahead of myself. Let me show you these two bigger, larger tubs I have here. Got them at Target. Let me show you what I have in there. This is essentially most of my clothes that I bring. Remember, I have a storage unit uh, close by, so this kind of comes and goes when it comes to, when I get dirty clothes, I need to do laundry, or maybe it's summer, I need more shorts and t-shirts, or winter where I need warmer stuff, sweaters. So yeah, this is all my clothes right here. All right, so. On the bottom one is basically all my dry kind of food. I bought some nice, uh, pretty large plastic plates, bowls, cups, um, stuff for spaghetti. And I have all kinds of condiments down here, a lot of ramen, things that I had. I had a bunch of food from um, from backpacking and camping stuff. There's some couscous right there. So just a little bit of what I can make, you know, if I just feel like either I'm out, you know, camping or just like on the side of the road, I want to make something. I don't have to buy dinner every every night, so that's kind of nice. So I have these two larger ones. All right, so on the side, uh, this is an Amazon product. It's 4.9 gallons. It comes with some accessories that I'll show you in there, but it comes with a pour spout, even a long nozzle. And you would, if you do that, you just turn this up like this, and then you actually has one of these so it, it can breathe, and you can put the sports spout down here and pour it, fill up water bottles. So I do that all the time. Use it to cook with. 
And I just learned to go to the uh, grocery store and you know, it's like 40 cents a gallon at those machines outside the grocery store. So I've been starting to use those. And this thing is kind of my organizer. Uh, I have all my like tools and knives, spoons, things like that, um, funnels, grater, and all kinds of stuff, all the kitchen stuff. There's a wine opener and bottle, a can opener, things like that. So that's all in there. A lot of the stuff I can get at the dollar store. Um, I got some extra plastic fork and knife and spoon. Then in here, I have a cutting, small cutting board. And then I bought uh, matching my um, plates and bowls and stuff. I have two mixing bowls. There's one inside of this one, a smaller one inside of this one. And then this is kind of cool. Give me a second here. And really cool, uh, I found this at Ikea. Uh, it's just a strainer. But you can see it's the safe space and it pops out silicone. Really good size one, um, but lays really pretty flat. So I really like this. Uh, I really like to make spaghetti and all kinds of pasta dishes. So that's going to help. Yeah, and so I have some, uh, also some clean stuff here, a little bit of a uh, dishwashing soap, a uh, sponge, of course, and a little mirror in case I wanted to shower or whatever. Some containers in case I need them. Okay, and this top one's uh, just all kinds of spices and seasonings, my olive oil I cook with, hot sauce. Uh, this is starting to fall out. Uh, Parmesan, just all that kind of stuff uh, for cooking. All right, we'll show you behind the seats on the floorboard. This is like a tool kit I have, tool bag. It's got all kinds, it's got jumper cables. I have a, a book about the PCT and some other uh, maps and, and notes and stuff that goes back there. And let me show you the back side of the other side. You see, I have a cooler there. Okay, so if we move these pillows uh, under here, normally this is rolled up so it's more accessible, but I have a cooler there. And let me pull that out. I'll show you what's underneath it. Okay, you can see right here, there's my laptop right here on the side. It kind of fits perfectly. Helps actually support the head area. I'll lift this up. You can see there's that. another one of those small containers. There was three towards the back of the car. This has car cleaning stuff, uh, spray to make shine on the tires and uh, just stuff to clean the car with and an extra tarp, things like that. And then right here, it's hard to see, but I have an extra small chair here. So it's one that expands and folds out that I use for um, sitting around the car or camping things, car camping, things like that. I'll show you that in a little bit. Okay, in the front passenger seat, I thought I'd show you this. I have a really cool cutting board that I'll have to, well, I actually just did a video on that too that I'll be posting soon, so check that out. I also have my iPad there. I usually have a bunch of other stuff here. I keep my, this backpack with my towel is actually my bathroom kit. And uh, I'm a member of 24 Hour Fitness, so the local gym, and I can go to any one in the country. So that's what I use to take showers and, uh, and, and shave and all that kind of stuff. So I always keep that there. That way when I go to uh, the gym to do that kind of stuff, and I work out too some and get on the treadmill. But uh, when I do that, I can just grab a backpack, throw it on my shoulder and go, and it's all, all contained together. Got my Yeti coffee mug and a usual ton of wires these batteries are my backpacking batteries these are stereo batteries but um i use them when i'm in the back of the car at night um, because my old car had a plug that was for the back seat that actually was live all the time so i could just actually plug in a cord at all times if i wanted to charge up stuff but this car doesn't have it so uh, i just i just put one of those batteries back there and uh you know i'll watch netflix when i fall asleep and if i leave it on and my battery's low i can just charge it up while i'm sleeping so yeah, that's the basics uh, inside of the car. Not bad, huh? All right, guys, that was the tour of the inside. Now I'm gonna find a different spot. I'm gonna set up the outside and show you some of the options that I have. This is, remember, just the initial uh, setup for this car. It'll progress, some things will come in that are new, some things will go away that I don't like, but I'm just testing everything out. But uh, let's go find a site I see over here where I can actually set up the outside of the car. So really quickly, I wanted to show you some of the things I have for the outside of the car. These are these mesh screens. My windows are rolled down, you can see. So if you ever want to get a breeze in your car, take a nap, sleep in the night, it's hot. You can do that without getting bugs, stuff in there. I have one for the other side. You can see over there. All right, really nice to have that on hot days, warm days. But here's my awning that I have set up. There you go, guys. And I was gonna tell you all about it in this video, but I don't wanna make it too long. So I'm gonna do a separate video on how to do this and uh, how I put it together and the pieces and parts. And you can get it on Amazon through my, um, my uh, in the description box below the links for Amazon. So check that out. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna make a separate video. So if you're interested, uh, keep an eye out for that. Oh, are you guys still here? Well, what can I say? Thanks for watching my first kind of overview of my new i guess you call it tiny home but my suv uh let me know what you think um 
Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, videos now on, on the pieces and parts. Like I'll, I'm going to show how to do this tarp, what, what pieces and parts you can order to make this yourself. You can, of course, use different size uh, tarps. I have a still nylon that's much bigger. I could use it maybe to block the sun, like I'm looking right at the sun right now. Things like that. Uh, a lot of the things that I use in there. Keep in mind, you know, I, I do want your feedback, like what you think of the video, but also what I'm missing, what you think I need. But just keep in mind that this isn't the normal uh, SUV living where I'm on the road and I need every single last thing. I happen to be working two jobs locally. I'm stealth camping in my, in my neighborhoods. Uh, I have a storage unit, so when I need something, I go grab it. So I only bring what I really just need. But what else can you think of that I need? I mean, I'm going to be just adding it as I go because I don't know what I need until I until it comes up. But so far, I think I've got it fairly dialed in to start out. I'm pretty happy with it. But like I said, I'll be doing a bunch of reviews. Um, I'll show you how to order this if you want to do this on Amazon. Uh, a lot of the other things that I have are from Amazon. And uh, so just... In, Lastly, please, just uh, do me a favor. It's a brand new channel. I'm trying to grow it and hopefully eventually monetize it so I can be on the road and travel and show you, you know, all our national parks and hikes and, and just what it's like to live out on the road. And by doing that, I just want to grow some of my channels that I have. So if you can, please uh, subscribe. It's free. Uh, like the video actually really helps. It helps with the algorithm so it gets searched in searches. So it gets found more. And hit that notification bell in the upper right if you want to be notified every time I post a video. I have some other channels down below in the description box if you want to check that out. If you if you like my style, I have a backpacking channel. I have a camping and backpacking uh, like food and recipe channel. Uh, I have a kind of a soothing music channel. And then I have my main one, which is Marmalade Outdoors. And that's my hiking and backpacking one. So I would love it if you go there and subscribe to all of them. And uh, make sure you say hi and, and leave me a comment and introduce yourself. And I'd love to hear from you and any, um, any maybe any ideas you might have. And, but that's about it. So until next time, we'll definitely see you down the road.